Okay, in this question here, we're looking at tangent of x, and we are looking to find the zeros and the asymptotes in general form. So let's look at what tangent is. So tangent theta is the ratio of sine theta over cosine theta. That is found on your formula sheet. Okay, so in terms of the zeros of the function, okay, that comes from the numerator. So as soon as I set tan to zero, because x-intercepts have a y value of zero, you can see I can multiply both sides by cosine, and I get zero times cosine equals, and the cosine cancels. So tan of theta equals to zero when sine of theta is also equal to zero. So I always want you to have those x-intercepts memorized. So let's look at really quickly a uh, equation of a sine graph starts like this and in radians it starts at zero and then it goes pi and then it goes two pi, three pi, four pi, etc. It's always going to be multiples of pi and those multiples are when n is an integer. So that includes zero, positive, and negative. Now let's look at asymptotes. So again, we know that tan of theta is the ratio of sine theta over cosine theta. So we have asymptotes because we have restrictions here. We cannot divide by zero. So whatever cos of x is, it can't be zero. So what that means is that tan of x is equal to undefined, which means I can't do that, when cos of x equals zero. So we have to know again our graph for cosine. So let's look at a little sketch of cosine. So cosine starts like this. So I can see for cosine, I have x intercepts. Now we're doing these ones in degrees. This is at 90 degrees and 270. So starting at 90 degrees, it's every 180 degrees. So what are the asymptotes? The asymptotes for tangent are 90 degrees plus multiples of 180n, where n is integer. So memorize when sine and cosine are zero because it certainly helps us with tangent.